We're not making enchiladas, we're making enchiladas! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is a monumental moment here on Chef Andy. We're making enchiladas with Mother Teresa. ¿Qué pasó, Teresa? Hola, ¿cómo estás, Andy? Muy bien, gracias. So according to the legend, enchiladas were created in the 17th century by a lady who was serving miners, right? Yes. Like mining. What were they mining for? For the silver. Silver. How do you say silver? Plata. Plata. So basically they take a tortilla, put all the ingredients inside, and then they put another tortilla on top, and that was called an enchilada. I don't know when they started rolling them. I don't know. If you guys know how enchiladas became rolled, leave that in the comment section. And if you have not already enchilada your subscribe button, make sure to do so. And turn on your post notifications so you can get updated when we come out with those beautiful recipes. Teresa, what do we need to do? El pollo ponerlo a hervir de primera. So we gotta get a boiling pot of water, take a, a scoop of salt, plop that in. We're gonna put in the chicken in the boiling water. We're gonna turn off the stove. We're gonna let it cook for about an hour. So while we're waiting for our chicken, we are going to make our chile sauce. What type of chilies are we using? Is that chile guajillo? Guajillo. So they take the guajillo pepper and they, and they dry it and it looks nice and crunchy like this. Yeah. So this is gonna be the base of the sauce. So we need to take these peppers, we need to take out the seeds and the stems, and then we're gonna cook them for what? 10 minutes. 10 minutes? All right, one hour has passed for our chicken, so we're gonna pull it out. Remember, we're using four chicken breasts for these enchiladas, so let's pull this out. Beautiful. Once we've pulled these chicken breasts out, we're gonna let them sit for another hour. While these are cooking, we're gonna get the rest of our stuff ready for our beautiful sauce. So we're gonna have a quarter onion, right? Yes. You wanna get a blender, so we're gonna throw that in there. Two cloves of garlic, plop that right in. Oregano, how much oregano? Maybe a tablespoon? Yeah, a tablespoon of oregano. Tablespoon of oregano. And then how much salt? Uh, half a tablespoon. Yeah. Boom. Wow, the smell of these peppers is amazing. So they're all cooked down, it's been 10 minutes, now we're gonna put it in the blender. What do we do with this uh, juice? Do we put that in there too? Yes. In the blender. Let's crank it up. Ooh. Look at it go. It's kind of like a nice orange, orangish reddish color. Wow, this looks so good. Let's just smell this. Woo! Okay, so now we are going to Put our sauce into a strainer. You want to get all the skin and like any yeah. leftover residue that you know built up. Ten minutes on medium. We're gonna boil that, kind of reduce that sauce down. Our chicken's ready. We're gonna start breaking it up, right? Yes. Does this take a while, Teresa? <laughs> uh, maybe we can sing a song. Ay 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 ay, enchiladas con Teresa. I'm gonna lose my cabeza. <laughs> because it's muy complicado. <laughs> Gotta love just tearing up that chicken with those fingers. Woo! That was a lot of chicken shredding, if you ask me. But now we are gonna add what? Pepper? Pepper. Pepper. Oh, good. Now we're gonna shred up our cheese. So what cheeses are we we're using? This just is a cotija in uh, this one. fresco. So you wanna use more queso fresco than the cotilla. About four ounces of cotilla, eight ounces of queso fresco. Okay, so she's gonna grade that up. While she's grading that up, I'm gonna take a beautiful red onion, half of a red onion, and just chop it up. Yes. So these enchiladas, we're gonna make one that has chicken with cheese, and then you can make them just chicken, or you can make them just cheese, right? So three ways yes. to make these type of enchiladas. So should I cut up the onion pretty fine? Yeah. Yeah. Teamwork makes the dream work here on Chef Andy. That chicken, when you cook the pollo, Así como lo cocinamos nosotros es para que no esté seco. Ese es el, ah. el secreto para que el pollo no quede así todo seco y cuando lo cocina solamente por una parte que esté mucho hirviendo es queda seco. Pero cuando lo cocina así lo pone a reposar por una hora este queda el pollo jugoso. So basically what she's saying is that this is a secret way they cook the chicken so it doesn't become dry. 
when you cook it in the water and then you take it out and let it rest for that long, the chicken becomes very moist. It's not it's not a dry chicken, it's a secret, right? Yes. Now I take the onion, just put them in the cheese? Yes, put it in the cheese. And then mix it around? Mix it around. Wow. It smells so good. So we got our cheese, our chicken, our sauce. Now we need to get out our pan to fry the yes, to fry, fry the, the enchiladas. Yes, enchiladas. We're ready to go. We're ready to enchilada it. So we have our skillet. This is where we're gonna cook our enchiladas in. And this is the secret technique, right? Yes. Okay, so I need to put some canola oil. Canola oil. Canola oil. Aceite de canola is how much, how much do you think? Yeah, it's enough. Two corn. tablespoons. Now we're gonna take our corn tortillas. These are corn tortillas? Yeah. Corn tortillas. Okay, you show me. Take it away, take it away. Put it right into the sauce that we just made. Woo! Wow. And the oil is gonna be spraying up because it has water. So when water hits oil, it's gonna start spraying everywhere. But this is the trick to the enchiladas. Most Americans think that you put enchiladas in the oven, but that's not how they do it in Mexico. The secret is to fry the enchiladas. We put the chicken in? Chicken in and cheese. Okay, so we put a little chicken. Take a pinch of cheese. And roll it. Roll it. That smells so good right now. Woo! Come on. Put a little chicken, put a little cheese, and then roll them up. Okay. And then on to the next one, right? Yes. Can I try one? Yes. I baptize you, tortilla, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit into the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Here we go. Woo Oh my gosh, it is popping. Here I go. Chicken, cheese, and now just roll it. Roll it. You gotta roll it quick or else your fingers burn. So now you just stack them right up and move on to the next one. Okay, Teresa, I can't wait any longer. I gotta try these. These look amazing. Okay. So just scoop one on. Here, this one's for you. Thank you. The moment of truth. Here we go. Oh my gosh. There is nothing like a fresh enchilada like this. Teresa, these are incredible. This is amazing. Mm. Wow, the oils from that. And the chicken is just super moist. The cheese melts right in. Teresa, these, these are phenomenal. This is amazing. Teresa, you are the queen of the enchiladas. These are amazing. They're life changing, guys. You, you have to make this at home. If, you are missing out in life if you haven't had these. Thank you so much for oh, being on the welcome. show. Welcome. Thank you for um, inviting me over here, and it's like it's very fun to stay with Andy and working with him because he's so fun. Well, those are the enchiladas de Teresa, and that is the episode for today. Make sure to subscribe to our food movement here on the channel, and we will see you next time in the kitchen. Okay. Adios, amigos. amigos!